Keeper has just changed the rules. Three new features, and I'm going to show you real life examples that cut down sourcing time and raise your ROI. Let's start with the biggest one. What if I told you that you could predict the next month's winners before that even started trending again? Well, imagine knowing which toys, grocery, or even home decor products are going to surge in demand in Q4 before Keeper charts even start to move. How do we do it? Well, we go back in time using Keeper's new historical sales rank filter. Okay, so I'm going to load this up straight away and I've already preset them. Right here, we come into sales rank and I've put in straight away just 75,000 to 200,000. We're looking for products that right now aren't the best sellers. And then what I've also done is gone historical sales rank, show me sellers last year, which were between one and 20,000. So they're going to go from 75, 200 to between one and 20,000 December last year. So those products that meet that. And then on top of that, I want buy box from 20 to 2000. Again, you can adjust that. And for me right now, I've also just put in the toys and games category. And I'll see you can do any category that you want. And then the final one that I've done is new off account four or more because I don't want private label products. And then actually the real final one that I've done on top of that is Amazon buy box percentage. I just don't want Amazon much on it. So what you can see is right now I've trimmed it down to about 107 ASINs. But also you could open those up different categories and find a lot more. Let's have a look at what we see. Now, what you're going to notice here, and we can have a quick look through. Now, we've got a great little product here. And if we scroll down to the Keeper chart, what we can notice right now is not performing that well, 75,000. But look at December last year. This thing comes really fast selling. Really great to spot those products that maybe aren't performing now, but are going to get that great seasonal push coming in December. Same one here, another toy. We can scroll down. And again, if we look at year, we're going to see right now, generally not performing 75,000 come into December. This thing sells really, really fast. And you can probably see that over the course, it's going to have very fast demand sales. You can see it here. Look at that increase over the December in monthly sales. Really good for spotting those December products that right now just aren't going to be so available. Let's have a look here. You can see this product. If we scroll down, I'm actually zoomed out to all time already. Right now, that's running about a 70,000 sales rank, just probably 78,000 actually. And then coming into December, we can see for the past two years, this thing has shot up like massive sales over Christmas. So a real opportunity if you can get these products in stock. Absolutely amazing. Now, what I will say is stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to find your old products using this method as well, which is great for Q4 sourcing. What if I told you that some of the best products on Amazon right now have no sales rank at all? And that's exactly why they're profitable. We're going to use, again, Keepers Historical Sales Rank Filter. We're going to find ASINs that sold like crazy last year, but now are showing no sales rank. These listings aren't dead. They're just invisible, usually out of stock, merged with others, or caught in basically just a bad category node. While other sellers are going to ignore them, we can step in early, verifying the chart and seeing the sales history in the past and buy right now as other people are missing them. Now, as stock returns to these listings, and obviously there's going to be no competition, you're going to have to get that listing moving again at the right price and obviously get those deals coming in and those sales happening. Now, how do we do this? Let me jump onto the computer. Okay, so how do we set this one up? Well, first of all, we're going to go to no sales rank. Number two, we're going to do historical sales rank here, December 2024. And again, I'm just going to do 10,000 to 50,000. Buy box again, 20 to 2,000. I'm looking for more expensive items. And then we're going to scroll down. Again, I'm doing toys and games. And I'm going to be using new off account four, trying to get rid of those private labels. And then finally, on top of that, we've got buy box Amazon. I'm looking for no buy box at Amazon at all. So really, really simple there. That's super useful. Now we come back with 24 products, but obviously you can expand this. So let's have a little look and see what we get. So you're going to get a lot of products here where they've got no 90 day average. Let's have a look at some of these products. Okay, so first of all, we got a Lego Batman here. And if we come down to the graph and have a look, and I've zoomed it out to all already, what you are going to notice is you're missing the sales rank here. So a lot of the time this kind of comes in and out, but you can see it's selling, it's going up. And it's a good opportunity for you to look for products that have historically done well. We've seen historical sales ranks, but maybe they're not selling so well now because they haven't got a sales rank. Maybe we can get them back in again. Let's have a look at one more. Okay, so here we've got a Jelly Baby Harry Potter map. And if you can actually scroll down, again, I've already zoomed out. You can see this is actually going up in price. But last Christmas, this thing sold like crazy. You know, we're talking 
4,000, 3,000 sold, just getting that in stock could be an absolute money maker for you. And right now, no one for you even looking at it because it doesn't even have a sales rank. So super interesting. What if I told you that you could predict exactly which SKUs your wholesaler's brand are gonna sell during this Q4 before placing your order or your PO? Well, Keeper's historical rank filter helps you to understand what happened in the past and you can simply use that to predict what's gonna happen in the future. We'll show it in a second, but quite simply, you're gonna do the same setup that we've done, but this time, not gonna choose a category, you're gonna put in your brand from that manufacturer or distributor, and now you're gonna set the month, it could be November or December, and you're gonna find everything ranked under, say, 30,000 now, and then look at what increases in December. And then you're gonna look at, should I be buying these products? Because right now they're just not selling. If you scan it with an analyzer tool, it's not gonna look very good. But what you will see is those products now are about to pick up. So now is the right time to buy them. It's called the crystal ball method. The setup here, really simple. I've done 50,000 to 250,000, that's right now. Now again, I've done December, 2024, and I've done one to 30,000. So I'm looking for products that sold really well last year, but right now they're just not selling as by the sales rank right now. And then obviously when we come down, what I am looking at is, again, I put toys and games in, but you don't have to. I'd recommend actually removing that. You wanna put the brand that you're buying from your wholesale or manufacturer, put it in there. So for example, with us Lego, that's what we're looking at. Again, I've done you off account four to just get rid of any private labels, but you don't really get that with Lego. So for you, it's not a problem. And again, I've done Amazon buy box, but we can remove that as well. It's really up to you. And I've got 154 products, so let's have a look. Let's have a quick look at this first one. What are we gonna see when we scroll in? So you could probably guess this thing is gonna sell really fast. So right now it's doing 100 per month. And if you were buying us today's data, you wouldn't buy too much. And But if we scroll down and have a look, what are we noticing? Well, straight away, December last year goes crazy. Look at that monthly sold, 2,000 units. So we can use this method with the brand filter to help us understand which products we should be buying more. Well, and if you look at this product over time, you can see it is just historically done really well. So this is a great way to we'll get that scan from your scanning tool, get all the ASINs, run them through this filter, and you're gonna see which ones you need to buy more of. If you're finding this information useful and you actually want to go faster in your Amazon business, here are three ways I can help you. Number one, one-to-one -one coaching. It's gonna be hands-on guidance between you and me working directly on your business to solve a specific problem that's currently holding you back. Number two, I've got an Amazon FBA community called the Amazon FBA War Room. We do weekly live calls, training sessions, and we've got whole course material in there that's gonna take you from zero to 10,000 per month in your business, plus an amazing supportive group of Amazon sellers, and you can get a free seven-day trial right now. Three, if you are struggling right now, you can get my top 100 supply list for both the UK and the USA retail suppliers, packed with real suppliers that we've used or resourced from for our leads list over the past year. And this is gonna help you find profitable products today. Now, all of the links are in the description down below. So do check them out after this video and see if you wanna get some more help to help scale your business. Now, I wonder if I told you that you could see not only every single product your competitor sells right now, but they have ever sold on Amazon going back years. Is. Keeper's new historical offers option allows you to unlock exactly that. You can drop a seller's ID into a product finder and you can tick the box and suddenly you're staring at their full list of sourcing history, looking at thousands of ASINs, not just a few hundred that they've got live right now. You can export these ASINs and plug them into reverse sourcing software like Tactical Arbitrage to find more products which is going to really give you the intelligence of finding out what profitable suppliers, what products not are only available today, but have been available and you can use automation to help speed you up. Okay, so I'm going straight into Keeper right now and I really put next to no filters on at all. So the one thing I have done is when you come down and if you have a quick look here, it says seller ID. So I put in a seller ID already. Now, what you can see is we've got 158 products of this seller right now. If I turn on, I want historical offers, what can I see? This is gonna to go to 2,195. It's gonna show me every single product this seller has ever listed on their storefront, which is amazing. Now, what you can do is obviously load this up and you can get all of their results and you can change it from 100 results to 5,000 results. You can download them and run them through software 
or maybe look at them yourself. So you can see right here, this is every single product that this seller has ever sold, which is going to be absolutely game changing. You can download these results, 5,000, export them, go run them through tactical arbitrage, and then do some reverse sourcing on automation. This is just going to really help you out. Now, once if I told you there's a hidden way to find those products that you've previously purchased, which are now selling for more money than they used to. Now, by adding your own seller ID into this method, you can look at products which have increased in price over the last 90 days, and you can do it by even looking at all your whole historical offers, which you already know the suppliers for. Okay, so when we come in, the first thing you want to do is come over to buy box, and I've just done minus 100 to minus 20. So again, we're looking for prices are going up over the last 90 days come down we want to drop in our seller ids now right now i've only got five results but if i turn on historical offers which i know obviously all the suppliers for then i can click find products and what am i going to see i'm going to see all those products that i've previously sold which now have gone up in price over the last 90 days now if we scroll through some of these what we are looking for is these keeper charts you can see they're starting to go up we've got some of them where they're going up here and the idea is we know all these products that generally speaking we know the suppliers for and it's going to be helpful for us so like say for example here what we are recognizing that we've bought it and the price has gone up over that time period so now could be a really good time to buy it so you can do replenishment in your own amazon store by using this technique now the third new feature that keeper has released is called cross seller matching you can basically now put in a range of seller ids and you can look at what products they are matching across their storefronts and remember because we know the historicals we can not only look at the ones today but the ones over all time so for example if you've got a couple of sellers who are always on the same listings as you put them in here and see what other products they've sold over time that all of these sellers are getting and then you're thinking about these are products i should be focusing on and i'm going to show you a really cool trick you can use to see what type of brands maybe they're selling over time that you're not selling as well it's a product that i found earlier so i'm going to click on data and then you click on offers and then what you're going to get is obviously a list of all the sellers so you can see right now there are nine sellers on the listing so we want to click here historical offers and what you can do is just click export and you're going to get all of this information and then all you want to do and you can do all active columns and then csv so we'll do that save and then all we're going to do is just load this up and you're going to get lots of information. The only thing we really want is these deep links. And in here, it's got the seller ID. So I'm going to grab that, copy it. And then in ChatGTP, I'm just going to say, can you list all the seller IDs from this list? Drop it in. And then what ChatGTP is going to do is just give me a nice big list. So I can wait for that to finish and I can copy that code. Now I can take them all or I can take a couple, but it's really up to you. So let's take a couple of them. We'll take the top few, let's come into Keeper, and then we're going to come down to Seller IDs. And here we can just copy in these IDs. Now what we can do here, this is the change part. You can do is all of, so we're looking for all of them contain those sellers or one of them one seller contains ASINs or two of the sellers contain matching ASINs or three sellers contain matching ASINs or more and more. Again, if you have a couple of people that you're storefront stalking and you want to know what products they're all finding that maybe you're not, then you can start by using this four of them. If four of them sell this product, I want to be looking for that as well. And remember, we don't have to do it on just today. We've got 26 results. We can actually do all time. Now, when we load up find products, you are going to get off your list of all the products that they sold. Now I've got these two windows side by side, and this is the original 26. And then right here, I want to click on include historical offers. Exactly the same. We've gone from 26 to 48,000. Let's click find offers. Now, the thing which I'm really interested in, you can see here 48,000 versus 26, is I'm going to be looking at this search insights. This is really interesting. Why? Because it tells you a lot of information about what's going on in the products that you're finding. So specifically, we're very interested in top brands. So you can see here, Chapstick, Crest, Hallmark, Marvel, Mega Brands. Now, if you put your competitors in there, maybe look at their whole time, maybe how many of them match. And basically, you're looking for what products are they like two or three of them are always searching for? And then what brand should you be focusing on is going to tell you here. And again, if we look at search insights over all time, what you are going to recognize is that this actually changes. You can see what brands that maybe they sold in the past and maybe 
they're not selling right now. So again, you can kind of get a really good feel for where their business is changing, maybe how your business should change as well. But this is going to just help you to see lots of different information by looking at search insights of your competitors and the brands that they're selling, which is going to give you a really good option to figure out not only the specific products, but also the brand as well. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you check out this next video here where I do a full walkthrough of Keeper Deal Analysis where you really understand how these Keeper charts work. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you like this button, make sure you hit the subscribe button to be notified about future videos. But for myself, thank you very much.